We've already looked at simplifying expressions involving addition and subtraction, and we called that like terms. So like terms is only when you add and subtract. So now we're looking at simplifying expressions that involve multiplication. So for this one, you can see there's a multiplication sign in the middle. What we need to do first is stretch it out. So what we're going to do is we're going to get 6 times 3 times g. Because there's actually a little time sign sitting in between that coefficient and that variable. So we're stretching it out. We can see that the 6 and the 3, they're both the numbers, so they go together. And we also have a G sitting by itself. So we're going to combine the 6 and the 3. So 6 times 3 is 18. The G's got nothing, to, no other letters to combine with, so we just put that on the end. Okay, so for this one, we've got two terms. So we're going to stretch it out first. We're going to go 9 times x times 4 times y. We're going to put the numbers together. So we've got 9 and 4. And we're going to put the letters together. We've got x and we've got y. Now we can rewrite this if you want to. You can. You could go 9 times 4 times x times y. You don't have to do this step. If you know a more straightforward way, you can do that. But essentially, we're going to put the numbers together and we're putting the pronumerals together. So now we can actually do our multiplication. So 9 times 4 is 36. And then the x and the y go on the end in alphabetical order. So for this one, we've got three terms. 1, 2, 3. We're going to stretch them all out first. So we're going to go minus 2 times d times 5 times a times b times 3. Remembering we put all the numbers together and we put all the pronumerals together. So we're going to go negative 2, 5 and 3. And we've got d, a and b. I'm going to rewrite it. You don't have to. Now you'll see that I've written these in alphabetical order because that is the most correct way to write it. The numbers all go together. The variables or the pronumerals all go together. So negative 2 times 5 is negative 10 times 3 is going to be negative 30. A, B, D. A, B, D. All right, so this is our last one. Again, we're going to stretch them out. 3 times A times B times 5 times B. If you get really confident in this, you won't have to do all these steps. So I've got numbers together. I've got letter pronumerals together. All right, so we're going to go 3 times 5 is 15. And then we've got A, B, and now you can see we've got 1B, 2Bs. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to write B squared there, okay? Because this looks funny. Looks funny when you have two letters next to each other. So what we do is we change that to squared. It's a little bit more simplified. And that is the whole goal of this activity, okay? So 15AB squared. So what you need to do is you stretch it out, you put the numbers together, you put the pronumerals together, and you write it in a more simplified version.